Hello, this is Michaelin. I am the reference librarian upstairs at the library and I will be taking you through this painting today which we're calling Shark Attack. The shark does not win in this painting. We've got a little fish there in the middle who looks like he's about to get eaten but he does not get eaten. His friends have come to the rescue. His other friends are swimming away. Um, it'll be a lot of fun today. So let's go ahead and get started. You'll need to take out your canvas that has the outline of the shark on it and then the top of the wave and your paints. I'll be using a three quarter inch brush that's flat to, to do my sky and to do my ocean, any of the bigger areas. I'm gonna be using a bigger brush, but you can use whatever brush you may have on hand to paint with. We're going to start with white and we're going to be painting the sky up at the top just all white just that area at the very top from where the wave is to the top we're going to go in white and then we're going to dip into our yellow and paint just that first um, line the very top with that big brush just put some yellow right on over the white don't let the white completely dry before you get started. Then we're going to dip it in our neon blue and the blue is going to go on the very top. Again, leave a white space in between um, the yellow and um, the blue. So you're just doing that very top line back and forth, get it covered. And then you're going to have them kind of mix together and meet so that it does look like the setting sun. And now you can see here we've got our top layer and it looks really good. It looks like the, the setting sun right over the ocean. Now we're gonna mix up our some neon blue and a good bit of white with a tiny bit of yellow because we're gonna do the water. We're gonna cover that whole water area around the shark. So get it to a color that you like. You don't have to do it exactly like it is in here. And here we have it. Looks pretty good. All even toned, all around. It's starting to take shape. Now, if you'll take that mixture that you just used to create the water, add a little bit more blue to it so that you get a darker hue, darker shade of the blue, and add a darker area at the bottom, and then kind of go throughout the rest of the painting in the water up, up, so add little swaths of dark blue to make it look like the waves and the current in the sea. 
And once you've got your ocean how you want it, um, with the darker blue areas and the waves running through it, I'd like you to get out a, a smaller brush if you have it. I used a number two um, thin brush because I'm going to be dipping into some white paint and adding the crest of the waves towards the top of the ocean. And now you're looking at what looks more like a sea. The more and more we start painting, you can see the little bit of white there towards the top. Try not to be too heavy handed. It is tempting to kind of go throughout the whole thing, but we really just want it towards the surface. Now we're gonna take on the shark's mouth. Um, we're gonna mix in some white and Mars black or the black that you have in your kit. So you want to mix that up till it's a good shade. We don't want it completely all black, but you do want it to be a really, really dark shade of um, gray, like almost black, but not quite. And then once you get that entire area painted that color, come back in with some pure black and do just the middle area, which would be the darkest area of the shark's mouth. Now we're gonna mix in some neon blue, some white, and a tiny bit of black to make the color of the shark's body. So mix it until you get the color that you like, and then we'll start painting the shark. I used a number eight. It's kind of a flat, small, smaller brush, but again, use whatever brush you may have. It, they'll all work. Um, some may take less time, some may take more time, some may provide you with more detail, um, but they'll all work. So use whatever brush you can. For the color around the shark's mouth, the immediate area, I just added more white to the color that I had used for the body of the shark. So I added just a little bit more white to achieve a lighter color that's going to go around the mouth. Next, you're going to want to take some pure black and paint in your eyes. If you're more comfortable, you can use a pencil to kind of sketch in where you want those eyes to go. If not, you can just sort of freehand it and put it in there. And with the, for the eyes, I used a small brush. Now you can see how it looks pretty good. And I've added the teeth as well. The teeth, you again can use a pencil to kind of sketch in how you want your teeth to look. I just freehanded it. It's, you know, a bit of a cartoony fish, so his teeth didn't have to be perfect or, you know, too scary. I think these are kind of funny looking teeth. So just add that with pure white and make sure that your mouth is totally dry or it just won't have the same effect. And you may need to go over the teeth several times to get that pure white teeth look. And you can also see I've highlighted that area with a little bit of white around the mouth and that blue, I added some more highlights there. There's a little sketch of my little fish that looks like he's about to be eaten. So I just sketched him with a pencil. You can make him a different shape if you like, smaller, bigger, but this was the sketch that I did of my fish. So I went ahead and painted him white since I was already painting the teeth. Painted him in white and then I took my pencil and started to sketch my fish 
all around. I have the school of fish that is trying to escape on the right hand side and it's just a simple little fish drawing. Um, again, you can do any type of fish that you would like. This is just kind of, I, I was thinking of goldfish at the time, so that's what they look like. And then you've got on the left hand side, um, the warrior, the warrior fish coming in to help defend their, their friend. So I just sketched those in with a pencil. Using a small brush, I painted it, all the fish that bright, pretty orange color. Just filled it all in with orange. And then for the next step, I had to do the eyes and some of the fins. For the eyes of the warrior fish, I just used black paint and the tiny brush. You can, if you don't feel like you have steady hands, you can also use a Sharpie and just fill them in. I made the warrior fish eyes dark with a determined brow because they were focused on getting their friend rescued from the shark. So you can use either a marker if you've got it or just a smaller paintbrush or the end of a paintbrush to make the, the eyes and the slashes for their eyebrows. Similar thing with the scared fish, the fish that are running away and the little fish inside the shark's mouth. I used a tiny brush with white and I like to use the very end of the, um, not the brush end of a paintbrush, but the bottom pointy heart end. And I just dip that in paint and it creates the perfect circle. Again, if you're not comfortable doing that, you can also use, if you have a white jelly roll, pen those are awesome for adding details um, on anything really so you could use either or don't forget to add the pupils the scared pupils of the eyes of the fish running or swimming away so you put the white part of the eye down however you're going to do that and then you can add just a little bit of um, plaque and I made it look like they were all looking back scared but again, you can make it however you want. You can use the, a black Sharpie or the paintbrush and some black paint. So now you can see it's really starting to take shape. I just need to add in some details like the fins to my little fish. And I need to add the tridents, their weapons, and I can add those fairly quickly. So here I've added the I've penciled in the tridents for the warrior fish on the left and then I've drawn in. I did use a paintbrush for their fins and the detail on the back fin, but again, you can use a jelly roll pen if you prefer. And here it is. I've got my tridents um, painted in or again, you can use a Sharpie. I've added some water droplets for the fish that are jumping out of the water and with I did use the jelly roll pen to make all the bubbles coming up from the bottom. You can make bubbles of different sizes. I used tiny little bubbles to show that the fish were swimming away or at least I hope that's how it looks when a fish swims away. It shows the current and how fast they're moving so you can use a brush and white paint if you want but the jelly roll is pen is perfect for this and here we have it I hope you've enjoyed this again feel free to share it online with us and tag it onto our social media and if you would please share it to nsref at shelbycounty-al.org so I can share it and it'll be anonymous but I can show people what you've done in our summer reading goodbye and thank you